Final part of the Handicap Division title match from our season opening event in Arizona. Our 18th season begins with a great scratch title match. And we'll see if we get an exciting handicap finish here as Andrew Dorsey has to make up 38 games of handicap. He's made up most of them here through the seventh frame. He's got a tricky 2-4-5 to shoot at going up against second seed Kendra Hedges. Kendra dominated this tournament. He's going to have handicap issues tomorrow, but right now he wants his first career title. Going up against one-time winner Kendra. That's fair. Spots where he's caved in in the past, he's looked good so far. We'll see if he can finish it. Against the ferocious backup hook of Kendra. This ball's going to look like it's going in the left gutter at 25 feet. Hopefully it won't. Whoops, she missed away right there. So here's the interesting question, Jeff. Yes, sir. If a backup bowler crosses over, is it really a Brooklyn? <laughs> That's, that's, that's a question that has plagued this throughout the years. I think it's more of a Toronto at that point. Just straight off the board. Dead fade the whole way. And they're just kind of one of those grab and go two handed chuck it down there. Lots of power if it's control is the uh, main issue for him. Under control today, qualified first to plus 339. Say goodbye to that one, six to jump on average. Ains two handed at the spare, or thumbless at the spare, and he covers it up. So he leads by 31 and is giving 38. Two frames to go. Kendra entering at 122. Went 246 up today, so she also rocked it. High game of 172 scratch back in game four, while Andrew topped out at 246, also in game four. None of that matters right now. Right now, Kendra's got to convert this 4 7 up quickly, as the handicappers tend to do. Nice job. That's how you shoot spares, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting a reaction. Oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> they'll teach you. They'll, they'll give you lessons after the match. Wow! What a booming nice frame strike there. Almost a solid seven. Count is a factor here potentially as well. Andrew, you have to finish first. Yes. Andrew's got spare strike from 204, spare strike from 173, plus the 38 for 212. Castle's not actually sinking towards the left. It's his next right pocket. Oh well, whatever. We'll, we'll find it. Alright, we'll just leave it as it is and hopefully he'll make the four. Yes. Oh, look at France. He's all over this podcast. Got this. It doesn't look any better. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't look any better. It's like those words. <laughs> hey, you got used to it. You got used to it. It's fascinating. <laughs> Let's just leave it. I'm going to get one of those YouTube. We detected the video may be shaky. Well, not our fault. Nice fill ball. Nice all game overall for Dorsey there. He up a 204 stretch, giving the 38. Play that 166 to tie. So Mark will win. Oh, oh no! Instead, it is the 2 4 10. Got this. 159 plus the 38 is 197. That's not enough. She must make this fair and then get a good count to win. This is a makeable thing, especially for a backup forward, oh. but it's going to go in the gutter, and Andrew Dorsey is a JV. Champion, finally. Wow, what a dramatic and quick turnaround in the 10th frame there. 
to all turn around and the long wait for Andy first win. Comes to a close here at Cliff Castle to open our 18th season. Exciting stuff in both divisions. You gotta be here, folks. Be a part of it. We'll see you tomorrow to do it all over again.